Hello scientists, this is the walkthrough video for Take Home Physics Lab 8. First thing I'm going to do is create a new Google Sheets. This will be my data collection system. Let's title this Physics Lab 008 Data Collection. It's always good to create your data collection system before you start the lab. I'll be dropping a weighted balloon from several different heights. We'll call them distances. And I'll be measuring those distances in centimeters. The distances will be 50, 75, 100, 125, 150, 175, and 200 centimeters. And I will be timing how long it takes for that weighted balloon to hit the ground. And I'll be taking my timing measurements in seconds. And I'm going to do three trials for each distance. In this column, I want to calculate the average time from those three trials. Also in seconds, I'll create a formula equals average, open up a new parentheses and highlight our three times, close the parentheses, press enter, and you'll have your formula right there. Let's copy and paste that formula into the cells below. It says error right now, but That'll go away once you have some data. All right, let's calculate the average speed in centimeters per second of the weighted balloon on the way down. That's change in distance over the change in time. So that's equal to our distance divided by our average time. And let's go ahead and copy and paste that formula into the cells below. The last thing that I want to calculate is the final speed of the weighted balloon right before it hit the ground. And the final speed for something uh, falling is twice the average speed if it starts from rest. So I'm do equals two times our average speed. Let's go ahead and copy that formula and paste it into the cells below. Lastly, let's clean things up a bit. I'm just gonna center my column titles. You don't need to do that if you don't want to. Okay, let's grab our materials. You need a ruler. We're gonna be using the centimeter side. You also need a roll of clear plastic tape, some scissors to cut that tape, a balloon. You need some pennies. You need four cents, so you need four pennies. There's two, there's three, and there's four. Alternatively, you can use a washer if you don't have pennies. That's fine too. You also need a pen or a marker, either or. You need a timing device. You might need a stool to stand on uh, or maybe even a chair. Just be careful if you do. Okay, go ahead and grab that roll of clear plastic tape and your scissors. Now, we don't want to write on the wall so we're going to cut some strips of tape that we can write our distances on and stick those onto the wall. About one and a half inches long, just like that. We have seven heights, we have seven distances, so we'll cut seven strips of tape. Put your tape away for now, put your scissors away for now. You go ahead and grab your ruler. We'll be using the centimeter side. There are 30 centimeters in one ruler. We'll measure from the ground. First measurement is 50 centimeters. That's one ruler plus 20 centimeters more. Measure 25 centimeters up. That's 75 centimeters. 25 more centimeters. That will be 100 centimeters. 25 more centimeters will be 125 centimeters. 25 centimeters more will be 150 centimeters. 25 centimeters more will be 175 centimeters. And 25 centimeters more will be 200 centimeters there at the top. Go ahead and put your ruler away, grab your pen or marker, and let's label these 50, 75, 100, 125, 150, 175, and 200 all the way at the top. 
Now you might need a stool for, to do this or even a chair, just be careful. Okay, go ahead and grab your balloon and blow it up as big as you can without popping it though. You don't want to scare anybody. Go ahead and tie it so the air does not escape. And there we go, we have our balloon, currently unweighted. All right, go ahead and grab your roll of tape again, grab your scissors, and then grab your four pennies if you got them. Uh, if not, you can use a washer, either or. I'm gonna use the pennies. Now the balloon, where the knot is, that's the top, and then the other side is the bottom. We want to tape the pennies onto the bottom, and so now we we're going to create a weighted balloon, a weighted balloon. So let's cut four strips of tape about one and a half inches long, just like our distance markers. And since we have four pennies, let's go ahead and cut four of those. Okay, you can put your tape away, you can put your scissors away. Now notice unweighted balloons don't fall very well. We want that balloon to go straight down and not to uh, twist or turn in the air. So that's what the pennies are for. Go ahead and carefully, carefully, carefully tape a penny onto the bottom of the balloon, just like that. Once the tape's on there, I don't recommend you taking it off because it might pop the balloon. And go ahead and tape the other three pennies onto the bottom so you have four total pennies on the bottom of your balloon just like that and now it falls much better you can also use the washer too okay grab your timing device and i'm going to drop the weighted balloon from 50 centimeters just like that and i'm gonna do that three times and time how long it takes here we go i'm also inputting those times into my data collection system. If you have a notebook or piece of paper, that works too. Okay, to make sure I'm dropping it from the right height, I like to put my hand right there and rest the balloon on top. So now three trials from 75 centimeters, three trials from 100 centimeters. three trials from 125 centimeters. Three trials from 150 centimeters. I'm starting the time once I release the balloon, stopping it once it hits the ground. Three more trials from 175 centimeters. Now for 200 centimeters, you, uh, you might need a stool, you might need a chair. I'm gonna use my, my stool. Three trials from 200 centimeters. Okay, time to clean up. Take all that tape off the walls so that your family doesn't get mad at you. And you can just throw that away. Put your ruler back into your physics kit, put your scissors back, put your roll of tape back, your washer if you used it, return your markers, pen, stool, chair, put away your data collection system, and then uh, you can give that balloon and the, those four cents to a friend. All right, look at all the decimal places we have. Let's go ahead and round all of these to the hundredths place. Decrease the decimal places there, excellent. I want to create a chart to resize it so you can see all of my numbers. And I wanna make it a line chart. The series, which are the numbers on the y-axis, will be my final speeds, the speed of the weighted balloon right before it hit the ground. And my x-axis, my horizontal axis, will be my average times. Cool, we got a nice curve there. Average time on the horizontal axis, final speeds on the vertical axis. 
Let's customize this to put some titles on the chart and on the axes. The chart title I'll call this, uh, let's do final speed versus time. And I'll change the font size to 12. And let's label my horizontal axis. These are my average times in seconds make sure that you indicate what the units are so anybody who looks at your graph will know what you measured your times in my vertical axis will be my final speeds in centimeters per second and there we go we have a nice graph here final speed versus time notice what happens as time passes as that balloon falls it's speeding up speeding up speeding up but then eventually it reaches what's called its terminal velocity and it won't go any faster. And that's it. Good work. See ya, scientists.